Hey, what's up guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're gonna check out Automizee, which is an email sender application. Now what we're gonna do is we can either send basic campaigns or we can send out automation campaigns. And I'm gonna show you how that works in a bit. So this is Automizee dashboard and we can see a quick overview of what's going on. So we got our contacts right here. These are the ones I have. So the ones who have unsubscribed, we can build automations that have two built right here, send a campaign. So these are the ones I've sent and create a sign up form. I got one created and we have the recent automations right here and recent campaign. So that's the quick overview of what the dashboard is. Let's head on over to contacts in context. You can add them manually or we can do it in bulk with CSV. Now these are the lists that I've created and you can see I have them separated and you can create as much list as you as you want. So for example, I got my Facebook group, my giveaway. So these are similar, these two, but I separated them because I might want to send a different email to this one than I would do to the giveaway ones. Or maybe I want to send a welcome message when it's a giveaway. And maybe I want to send a welcome message that's different because it's a Facebook group and I have them separated. So that's available right here. You can also view your contacts with this right here, or we can delete the list if you want, we can remove. Next thing we have is campaigns. So if you just want to start off and send out a campaign, this is where you would go. Now you have two options right here. You can send out a basic campaign with one single title, or you can do the AB testing, which gives you the option for A or B. So for example, I sent out this list, which was a, a Chrome extension that I'm advertising, which is a free Chrome extension to list all the lifetime deals. And if you guys want to check that out, the link will be in the description. So for example, I have two titles right here, which is A and B. And I'm gonna create a brand new campaign to show you how that A and B uh, is, looks like before we go into the drop builder. All right, so right here we got our first title and we can say, check out this free Chrome extension. All right, so that's one title and we're gonna add the AB subject line. So now we have two titles, um, free Chrome extension. All right, so you get two options right here with the two titles and you also get a rating right here so if this turns green they're suggesting that it's a much better title than the other one but either way you can do the a b testing now how the a b testing works is by sending out a first bunch of emails in this case 10 percent 10 and 10 with the subject line a and b once it's sent it's gonna Check out which one is the winner and it's going to send out the rest if you want to do it automatically or you can do it manually. So for example, if you do it automatically, you could say, hey, select the winner after so many hours. You can even say, hey, you know what? After 24 hours of sending this first test, send the rest with the winning title. So that's pretty cool to have that option. So it's pretty easy to send out emails that way and have a much better open rate that you would do normally normally. Before we check out the email templates, I'm gonna head on over to automations. Check out the automations. And here I have two automations built already. So this one, I have it for my Facebook group and I'm gonna just show you how it works. Let me head on over to this one. And they're pretty actually, they're pretty actually easy to, to build. All right, so in this one right here, so you can see I have 22, 23 entered contacts on this, this automation. What it, this one is going to do is that when someone joins the list, that's a Facebook group, which I have it automated in Sapphire, and I'll show you a bit, it's gonna wait seven days. That's how I built it. So I'm not gonna send the email right away because this is not a welcome message. The thing is that I don't wanna spam users. So this just depends how you wanna build it. So after seven days, I'm gonna send out this email, all right? So I'm gonna open it, and this is the email that I'm gonna send out. You can see a preview of it, check that out. So there's a preview. Close it. You got this information also. And then I have some automation right here. So for example, I have a yes or no. So for example, if the email is open, so this is a condition, it's a condition. If it's open, I'm going to add a tag to this user. So that's all I want to do. I send out this email and if they open it, it's going to be a tag. And in this case, I put a tag open FB email. So that's the tag it's going to get. And if I want to send out another email, I know that I want to send that out to that tag of users. And if they, if they don't open it, I'm going to wait another seven days and then I'm going to send another email. And that's the last email I'm going to send to this with this automation. I could keep going on and on with more automations. 
Now let's close this one and let's open a brand new one. So we can create a brand new automation and you can select from the templates they have. So automated thank you email, a welcome new subscriber, follow up leads, offer a discount uh, for products page. You can see announce a product launch, welcome new subscribers. You can do this one, lead magnet delivery, or you can ask for a certain template and they'll keep adding more templates. Let's add this one. I just want to show you how, how it works. And it tells you a description of what it's going to do. Let's go to create. Let's wait for it to load. All right, and here's the automation. So what it's going to do is, you can actually see what's going on. So when you fill out the form, I'll show you an example. I already created a form. So if I click here, I'm going to select my form. So I can select this one or this one or my form. This is the one I created. So I'll select this form. All right. So this is where everything's going to start with this automation. And for example, this form is already encoded into this site. So here's the form and whoever inputs right here, it's going to go into this list and it's going to start off with this automation. So you can add a tag right here to start off. So in this case, we can say, Hey, it's active or we could create a brand new tag. We'll just say this one, this is testing purpose. It's going to send out an email. So right here we have the option who's going to send this out. So George from what email, what's going to be the subject line. I can edit this email if I want so I can, uh, go into more customization here. We got image, text, title, column. I don't want to get into that in right now. I want to go in the, in the end for that. All right. So let's just say that's okay. And then it's going to, once you send this email, it's going to wait another day and then it's going to send an email and it's going to wait another day, another email, so on and so forth. But what happens if we want to add some automation? So we'll click on this button and we have these, these options. So let's go through this one. So if you can add an email right here, which you can add from an e, uh, email editor. You can my templates or pre-made templates. All right. I didn't remove that. Then you can wait for, so for example, here's where we add minutes, hours, or days. All right. Let's keep that there. Next thing we have is the condition. So we can add a condition, say like the one you saw before, if you open an email, it's going to do this. If they don't open the email, it's going to do that. So this is how you automate. Or you can say, if they click on a link in an email, if yes, they click on a link, then this is going to happen. If no, this is going to happen. Subscribe. Oops, clicked on it. My bad. Let me delete this. Yes. Condition. All right. Subscriber has a tag. So if they already have a tag, then do this. If not, do that. Subscriber is on a list. So if maybe you have in three lists and it's if they belong to a certain list, it's going to do this. If not, it's going to do something else. Contact cost, custom field. It's going to do this and that. So that's how this automation works. So it's pretty easy to do once you start seeing how it works. So for example, if it's a yes on this condition, then it's going to send out an email or wait for days or whatever, or you want it to do this. If they open this email, this condition, we add them to a list we would remove them from a list. So maybe you sent out an email and you have sent it like, Hey, it's been five emails. They don't open it. So I want to remove them from the list. So that's possible. Add a tag to the contact, remove tag from contact, modify user data or move contact to uh, other automation. So maybe you haven't built another automation where you want to send them to. So it's easy to do the automations. This is the, the coolest part about automizing is the automation part, which is like a flow. You just flow and you see how it's going to work. So it's pretty easy to understand how this works. All right. Next thing we have is the forms. Let me show you the form. You can build your own form right here. So for example, I can edit this one. I already did the test with one contact. Let me show you how that works. Once you build the form, you get an HTML code that you can embed. So this is the name for the form and this is my simple form. So for example, here I can change color if I want. So for example, background color input field styles. So for if, I, if I click here, default value label required. So basically it's a simple form builder that's going to help you. I mean, you can do it this way or you can do use your own form builder. So for example, um, you can use form, uh, Fluent forms, you can use type forms or whatever, and use the integration with Zapier to bring them in here. All right, so let's go back. 
go back again we got reports so for example the campaign I sent out we should have the report right here so you have statistics so here you can see I sent out 234 emails uh, 15.30 percent open 1.28 percent click and you can see how I hover over here and you can view the context so for example who clicked on these right here so once you select right here you can so you can add to them a tag or do something with it so campaign activity they clicked on a link on my campaign a and you can add a rule so you can say the rule is to for example tag all right so tag is this you can do some more automation here to any field so for example on this one i could say fb group i'm not sure if i sent it out on that one no I, depending on the list that i would send so let's remove this right here and you can say if the lead score is such and such it's going to show you the list of, of contacts right here next thing we have is integrations so in integrations you have available these four integrations that are direct from these companies and the rest are based on zapier or third-party integrations um, for example you got zapier hyperrise optimonk and unbounce let me show you my Zapier automations that I already created. Let me show you here. And I have two Zapier automations. So I have an automation from WordPress to Automize. So when a user is created on WordPress, it's going to go to Automize. If I add a list on Google Sheets, it's going to go to Automize. So I have another app that's going to automize the context to my Google Sheets, and then it's going to go to Automize. So basically, it's automated the whole way. And you can see it's pretty easy to build. So for example, I'm gonna open this Google Sheet one. And what I told, uh, for example, Zapier is that, hey, when Google Sheets adds a new spreadsheet role on my account, and it's gonna select, it's gonna be this sheet, and it's gonna be the sheet one. It's gonna find the data. So you got the data right here. All right, so it found the data, so everything's good then it's going to go to Automize. And in Automize, I'm going to select an event that it's going to do. So I log into my Automize account. So I accept Zapier. It's going to create or update a contact. You can also remove a tag from a contact or add a tag to contact, unsubscribe contact. But in this case, it's going to create a brand new contact. It's going to choose my account, customize contact. So for example, the email, it's going to grab it from the CSV, not the CSV, from the Google Sheet, it's going to say answer to and here's the email it's going to be the list status active i don't want to add tags i don't want to add ta uh, this one and i want to add name so it's going to grab it from this row and that's how it's automated and you can do this with wordpress with so, so many apps with zapier that it's, it's i mean you can't even imagine how many apps you could do with with that one well guys that is how automizing works and last but not least i want to show you how the builder works for the email campaigns so in this case, I'm going to add a brand new campaign and you can select the email editor. So drag and drop email, simple email. So this is like plain email like you would send on Gmail, Outlook. You got HTML email. So in case you have a builder external to Automize, well, you just export your HTML and put it in here and you're ready to go. So maybe you want to do a really complex uh, email, uh, uh, what do you call it, template, just put it in here. You got my templates, so this one is saved. And you got pre-made templates that are available from Automize. So you can just grab one of these templates that you would like to use. So for example, hey, this looks nice. Or let's see another one. You can grab these. I mean, just we're gonna select one. Let's just select this one. And this is gonna be testing purpose. Let's go next. And this is how the builder works. So you got image, text, title, columns, buttons, social, dividers, and code snippets. So you got basically what you need to build an email right here. So you can replace this image. You can set a link to this image. You can upload a file. You can set the image URL or grab from the gallery. You can add some padding right here, or you can fill left. Since the image is pretty big, it's not gonna show anything. You can customize this right here. So for example, subscribe or whatever. And this button, we can change colors. So for example, if, if your branding is red, change that to red. And it's pretty easy and straightforward. If this is already built, so for example, the, the footer, 
Footers with the information is manage preference, update info, or unsubscribe. You can edit this right here. So this account contact information, company name, unsubscribe info, social links right here. You can add new social links. And these are the list of the social links that, you, that are available. Most of the popular ones are here. So it's an easy and straightforward builder to get your email campaigns. I built mine and it worked really smooth and really easy to just build it and get going with Automizee. Well guys, this is Automizee. I think the automations are pretty cool. It's pretty easy and straightforward to build an automation. Um, my only downside right now is integrations, but I guess they will be adding more soon. Um, there's also a request feature right here and you can request for the integrations because they're adding more and more. So right now they're pretty basic, but they're gonna be adding more. All right guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna grab this, app right here, the deal that's going on, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master.